Hello everybody, welcome back. Now in this video, let's talk about how to fix one of the strange issues in DynamoDB. You might have already faced this. If not, this issue is related to DynamoDB timeouts. Now have a look at this. Usually when we are invoking a Lambda function in a synchronous manner, we have this API gateway and browsers or mobile application will connect to API gateway and the API gateway then synchronously invoke the Lambda function. And this Lambda function then maybe connect to a DynamoDB table, do CRUD operations, create, read, update, delete, and return the response again back to the API gateway. And then the API gateway will send it back to the client synchronously. So this whole flow, request response flow is synchronous. Now, here are the timeouts that are associated with these services. Now, in API Gateway, there's this 29 second hard limit, meaning that if Lambda function didn't return a response to the API Gateway in 29 seconds, it's going to return a timeout. When it comes to Lambda function, you can run a Lambda function up to 15 minutes. But here now you can understand, even if uh, your code is running up to 15 minutes, API Gateway will send a timeout after 29 seconds because uh, Lambda functions need to respond less than 29 seconds. So this is an important thing that you should remember, particularly when we are invoking a Lambda function in a synchronous manner through an API Gateway. So what can we do here? We have to make sure this uh, Lambda timeout, we can particularly set what is the timeout for a Lambda, is uh, less than 29 seconds. So let's uh, set that to so now let's imagine when we are deploying our Lambda function, we set the timeout uh, to less than 29 seconds. So in this case, when Lambda functions connect to the DynamoDB table, and if DynamoDB returns some response in less than 29 seconds, and then Lambda function again return that response to the API gateway, so there won't be any timeouts. Now you guys may know DynamoDB is a, a millisecond latency database. That means no matter what the scale is, you can get the response in millisecond latency, provided that you have properly designed your DynamoDB table, considering your access patterns. Now here's the strange thing. Sometimes a very small percentage of this request could take more than several minutes. Now this is a very strange behavior, some networking issue, I believe. Now this uh, small percentage is somewhere in 0 0.001 uh, level. But still again, if you are running your application in a large scale manner, you will encounter this issue. Now some of your request, very small percentage, will take several minutes to complete. Now because of that, the Lambda will time out because we usually set the Lambda less than 29 seconds. And then API Gateway will time out and finally clients will receive a timeout. So how can we fix that? Well, essentially we need to set two configuration. Now uh, this whole problem and the solution is explained really well in this particular blog post, how to fix DynamoDB timeout uh, in serverless application. You can read this, I'll post a link in the description. So essentially what we need to do is we have to configure the timeout for the DynamoDB. Now this timeout issue happens particularly when you're using Node.js. So when you're using Node.js, uh, you probably be using the DynamoDB uh, document client. And the DynamoDB document client, when we are creating a new uh, instance, we can pass this HTTP options. There you can set the timeout to a value somewhere like five seconds or 5,000 milliseconds. And also, you can set the maximum retries numbers as well. Now, when Lambda is calling to DynamoDB, we usually do it through SDK, like so. You know, we first get the uh, AWS SDK, DynamoDB. So all these requests are going through this SDK. So when Lambda finds out there are some errors in DynamoDB, the SDK itself starts retrying. Now it retries up to 10 times with exponential back off. So here Lambda function will first retry in 50 milliseconds. And if that again fails, then it will uh, retry again in 100 milliseconds, 
and then in 200 millisecond likewise is this retry time gap will be increased so if we wait until 10 retries so it's going to essentially retry up to 50 seconds we don't want that so we can also set the maximum retries to 3 so lambda will throw an error in uh, in few hundred milliseconds so with these settings DynamoDB will time out less than 5 seconds that will be captured by uh, lambda so we can handle those errors here and we can return the response so it's a good idea to have these settings in uh, DynamoDB document client now here in this example DynamoDB document client uh, right now I'm setting only the region I can add max retries so we can set it to 3 and also HTTP options this is an object and here I can set the timeout we can set it to 5000 millisecond alright so this is what I wanted to explain in this video